in the name of my ancestors. Peace forever and always and welcome to another edition of the Realities Tip on Earth Internet Ministry. Of course, I am the host of this particular program known here on YouTube and many various places as the mighty, mighty, mighty uh, Angel Snub Nub 7. I am your brother and hopefully your friend, Talik Ibn Ra. As many of you know, and I'm very sure like many of you, my roots, my origins, my mentality, at the base of my uh, thought system, many of us come from the Christian church. Some of us, we left the Christian church and we went to Islam and perhaps we have decided to embrace some other religious belief system. But regardless to that religious or some may say spiritual belief system because it's still belief, there comes a time and somewhere or one day many of us will bear witness to the good. In church they call it testifying. In church they give a certain amount of time so people can stand up and bear witness or testify to the greatness to the good that this religion what it has done for us so people will stand in church they will go to the mosque and they will tell their friends and family and they will testify and say I was a drunkard I was a dope fiend I was a whoremonger I was so terrible Elijah Muhammad said that he was in such bad shape that he was in mud and the only thing that you could see of his body was his eyeballs that's how far down in the mud he was and Islam saved his life and I'm pretty sure that we could spend countless hours and hours and hours and from the sincerity of our hearts we will testify the good of our religious belief system and I do not doubt that I love the Christian church and I love the Islamic mosque I love those who were in or claim that they were in such bad shape but something saved their life something made them feel better and we I respect that and that is a good thing so here we are in this time period whereas a new mind is rising a new train of thought outside of religious belief system that claim the same thing I have my brother Andre Edmund 69 who testified and bear witness that I was a dope user I was doing this I was a criminal I was doing this I was doing that confused and there was no religion that could help me I was just acting out in a savage manner a waste of life but then one day I heard a voice it was not the voice of God it was not the voice of Muhammad or Jesus it was not the voice of any religious belief system it was just a brother just like me not somebody 
claiming divinity, not somebody claiming some type of superiority, just a man telling me that I am above and can be better than the behaviors that I have been expressing. Coming from a person y'all call an atheist. And from that, listening to that doctrine, Brother Andre testified that I am growing and becoming and have become a better person. Without the assistance, listen y'all, Brother Andre and myself, we become better people without the assistance of anybody divine. We depend on, woo, we depend on the divinity that is in ourself. So y'all have a problem because you depend on outside source instead of depending on yourself. So when you have a problem in your belief, you have a problem in your faith, there is a disconnect to your energy source. Thus, you get weak and y'all backslide. Thus, you get weak and you go right back to the sewer real easy. But when your source of energy, when your source or your connection to the universe is yourself. You don't have to depend on pastor so-and-so. You don't have to depend on reverend so-and-so or minister so-and-so. Depend on yourself. Andre Edmund 69 is, is not dependent on Brother Talik Ibn Ra. Brother Talik Ibn Ra, Angel Snuff Nuff 7, was just a tool used by the creation to awaken the mind of Andre or anybody else that this voice falls upon to open up your mind to your own divinity, your own value, having faith in yourself, giving direction to you, not just to some special person. Just like if we were driving to from from we were going to Chicago from St. Louis. Although I might be driving the bus, if something happens to me, everybody on the bus should know how to get to Chicago. I should not be the divine one, the all-knowing one, the only, the only source you have to depend on me to get to Chicago from St. Louis. Everybody on the bus, including children, if they can comprehend, should know how to get to the destination. What is your destination? Your destination is to create a new heaven on earth, according to religious scripture. It says in religious scripture that the kingdom of heaven is in you. And the only way that you can obtain that is to understand your own divinity and stop celebrating other people. You came from the same source. You came... You are made from the same ground as these other suckers are. And you making them special. And you help them live rich. And you feed their ego when they are nobody. Anything that I know, Andre knows. Anything that these people know, you should know. And you want to know something? Even though the realities temple on earth may seem as though we don't have anything to do with a God or divinity, but in reality we do because according to your scripture, God is in you. According to your scripture, you are divine. According to your scripture, God chooses whom he pleases. So if the Christian church has failed, Doing what God wants the people to do. If the mosque has failed. If the synagogue has failed. If all these houses of religion have failed. In taking the people from a savage like manner. And, and help them express their divinity. Then isn't it ironic. That God will raise among the same people. A wisdom from a place you wouldn't expect 
a place that is non-God, a non-belief in God, but yet it is of God. Oh. Woo, man, man, man. Thus, you get the same result. Thus, I can declare and I can testify. Thus, you have Brother Andre, Edmund 69, and many others that's coming up through the ranks. They can testify that, with, that without the assistance of any God, without the assistance of any spirituality, that their life is changing for the better. They are a stronger person than what they used to be. Without some God, without worshiping anybody, because they look to themselves. They know how to drive the bus themselves. And so, yes, I have flaw. Yes, Brother Andre have flaw. But we don't make excuses. We work on ourselves every day, having faith in ourselves that we can get the job done. We're not looking for God help me do this. Jesus help me do that. Muhammad, no, we're looking to our own brain. Our own brain for answers. Because out of the creation gave you the tool to solve any problem that you have, and that is your brain. But you don't listen to your own brain. You want to know what is Farrakhan going to say today? What is Creofa, what's his name? One of them pastors going to say today? Pastor Manning or some other doofless. That's what we wicked instead of looking at yourself. So when you look at the Realities Temple Ministry, you're not going to see people that are trying to be like Talik Ibn Ra. Andre Edmund 69 is who he is. And he is expressing the gift that the creation gave to him. And as he matures, you will see that as he blossoms. Has nothing to do with me. The only thing I am is a, a person who rings the bell. Who tell you it's time for you to get up. And so when Andre heard the voice that told him it's time to get up. The brother with the sleep in his eyes wanted to stay in bed. But something, the, the divinity, the divine person in himself decided it's time for me to let go of all the former things. It's time for me to get up. Thus, today you have what you see. A strong black man, a strong warrior in the struggle for our people. This brother that I call the administer, student administer of action, Brother Andre Edmund 69. Thank y'all for listening. Jot down your comments. Let's talk about it. This is your brother Talik, even raw. And this was and is the Realities Temple on Earth.